Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, so last class we recovered parameter estimation under uh, random effect model, and I only discussed the joint estimation. So, so remember, we have we have two approaches: joint estimation and uh, uh, separate estimation, right? And I didn't uh, uh, really carefully explain what what I mean by separate estimation. So, so this is a little bit advanced topic, but I. Some of you might be, I thought some of you might be interested in learning more. So, so here's the setup. We have the parameter, right? And then beta and then sigma a square, sigma e square. And remember, one way to build this uh, random effect model is a mixture model. And then this sigma a square is, is kind of a mixing parameter that determines the level of shrinkage. So, so tuning parameter. So, uh, so tuning parameter determines the level of shrinkage in the final estimation. So, so tuning parameter is actually uh, a model complexity parameter in some sense. And and then uh, this theta is the parameter under the model, right? Given the model. So, okay. And then in the last class, I just explained how to do EM algorithm. Uh, to estimate these parameters simultaneously. But uh, to be rigorous, uh, joint estimation, so how how we actually joint estimate? So then we solve two equations in some sense. So we profile. So profile means that given lambda, given lambda, we maximize, right? Uh, given, given lambda, we maximize over theta to get theta hat lambda, okay? And then plug in. And then this is now becomes a function of lambda only. And then we maximize. So that is the uh, usual profile, profile like the function. And then, well, so you may wonder, uh, okay, what's wrong with uh, maximizing the, this profile likelihood? Well, Asymptotically is is okay, but uh, when the dimension when so so uh, to be rigorous, this profile likelihood is is not really a likelihood in in some sense because in this in the sense that it's not really a density joint density. So even though the original likelihood of jo is a joint density, so that you have uh, you know. Uh, Integration equal to one, but not not applies to the uh, profile. So, so then how how can we make it integration equal to one? So then one way to make this integration over y equal to one is to normalize. Okay, and then see the normalization below the term. Uh, you can write it this way. Right, k k lambda, and so this k lambda contains the information about theta because you have a lambda hat, you have data. So so theta hat uh, lambda contains data. So so it's you are not really fully uh, you cannot really uh, ignore this part. So so then you may want to maximize this one rather than maximizing the profile. Because even though, so asymptotically, so this is, uh, if you think about that, this is uh, increasing uh, over order n, this is order log n. So, so this is, you know, asymptotically, uh, the first term dominate, but, uh, but still the second term uh, may be uh, relevant. So, so we want, so the question is how we can actually reflect the uh, uh the extra information in the profile and 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 find the correct uh, maximizer. So before we move on, uh, let me first. So given. So. Direct ML estimation over theta, for, given, lambda. Okay. So so this is more like a. 
So you can see this is the lambda. Remember that lambda is kind of a choice of a model. You have a uh, you have a different class, right? If you change lambda, you have a different level of the shrinkage. So so then uh, this uh, lambda determines the uh, class. But given the given the model, given the family of the model, then you can maximize the likelihood. I mean, the maximize the parameter, right? I mean, the likelihood to obtain the particular parameter for the choice of the model. So you can, uh, so you, you you can again, uh, lambda you can view it as a model complexity parameter or a tuning parameter, and theta is the a parameter in the model within the given the model okay and then remember you you have a level one likelihood function and then you have a le level two which is normal basically this is a you know kind of pri prior right and so so for the random effect if you have an infinite prior that means what you have a sigma a square large flat prior then that means you you basically non-informative prior, right? So informative prior, so flat prior. So if you, this is infinity, then this is flat. But if it's not not infinity, some some number, then it you you actually have a prior. I mean, informative prior. So that gives the shrinkage. I mean, uh, so choice of the so last shrinkage actually because uh infinity flat prior is a full shrinkage right you just uh, give a flat so you just uh, treat uh you know uh the remember the player get baseball player you just treat that at, uh oracle right um another extreme is you have uh, you treat individuals are totally different so so then uh uh you know, non-informative prior actually respect individuals in some sense. Okay, anyway, uh, so this is the same, uh, you know, in integration that we, we are interested in uh, computing. And you want to compute the integration of this quantity. So in, I mean, this is usually this, I mean, this L1 is, likelihood log likelihood under the Gaussian density, then this is very easy because this is L1 is is a quadratic function, so no problem. But generally, but uh suppose L1 is not really uh L1 is not really uh quadratic, so not Gaussian, then then you need to do Taylor approximation. So so then you can basically first uh write the uh, uh you know integration as a function of exponential function of something q and then find the maximizer okay with respect to ai so then ai hat star you plug in and then you do taylor expansion second of the taylor expansion then the first one q dot lambda respect to lambda hat ai hat theta will be zero by definition, right? Because this guy is maximizing Q. So so then you just have a, a, a you know first linear term disappear and then you have a quadratic term. So so this is and then now we we want to write it as a more like a, a Gaussian approximation. So let's call this as a V star. Okay. To, to get so this rotation is means length. Okay, so once you do that, then you can use the uh, Gaussian Gaussian distribution function to evaluate the integration. Okay, so so that actually gives you uh, some closed form. So this is constant. Uh, take the log. And then you end up getting something like this, and which is is this one? Okay, so that is basically the well defined, uh, you know, a function of a theta that you can maximize. Uh, so that 
that is the direct uh, ML estimation of theta for, for given lambda. Okay. And so this is normal, normal example. So then you, you know uh, marginal distribution is already normal. So then uh, given lambda, the MLE, so, okay. So this is, uh, you have uh, something like this. So lambda, okay. So the, the value of lambda uh, determines the shrinkage, right? So you, you, your GLS estimator is, is so is, for, is this form? Okay. And then now uh, the more important question is tuning parameter selection, right? Tuning parameter estimation. So how to find the right model? So we want to find the best lambda star, then minimize the predictive risk. And, and there are two main approaches. One is a sample split approach. The other one is the marginal length approach. So sample split, of, remember, you know, uh, if you treat theta and lambda two parameters, if you, your joint estimation interferes, right? Your joint estimation from single sample will estimating set theta and estimating lambda, they in, you know, interfere to each other. So how we can separate out? So one way is to split. So then you use this small, use one sample, say training sample, to estimate theta hat to obtain theta given lambda. Okay. And then use this lambda, uh, the, the other set validation sample to estimate lambda. Okay. So then even if in, in the end you obtain this one, this estimator, the data from here is different from data here, right? So you use training data and you have a validation data. So so basically uh, you have independence between the two. So that actually make uh, uh, the, the problem disappear. So so then uh, we at least we can get a valid, uh, I mean, correct uh, parameter, tuning parameter. So that's one way. Uh, that involves more computation, but but reasonable. Another approach is is a marginal like the approach. So basically, we want to treat theta as a noisance parameter and and then integrate out can read of the uh, uh, noisance parameter. So sample split approach I already explained, and you can take a look. It's clear, should be clear and easy. And so now, uh, so. First approach is uh, sample split approach. Second approach is the marginal like approach. So marginal like approach, we treat a uh, theta as a noisance parameter, and and so we want to integrate out over theta. Okay. So how to do that? Well, we use some. So in general, this is very difficult problem, but we 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 want to use some sort of the uh, approximation. So we we use the uh, we'll use the Laplace Laplace approximation to uh, to derive. So so same story. You you want to evaluate this integration, and then take the Taylor expansion, second order Taylor expansion. Apply the second order to get this, and then and then you plug in this to here evaluate it, then, then you get this one. So then you can see that the first term is free of theta, so you can, it goes outside. And then second term, you can use the Gaussian density function to get this one. So then end of the day, you take the log both sides, you, you get this one. So that is, uh, is uh, essentially a, a famous a modified profile likelihood. Uh, so you have a profile already, right? This is your profile, but you do have a modification, small, small of the term. 
So modified profile likelihood consists of two terms, profile likelihood and penalty term, which is this one. Because you want to maximize, right? You want to maximize. And so this negative thing, uh, you know, will penalize. So if you if you choose, so you so small so you want to balance. So small values of lambda means less smoothing, which increases the profile like term, but its penalty term also increases. So 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 we want to balance. So this is actually. Uh, so th th so this include including the penalty term prevents the overfitting, and so large value of uh, will be selected. And this is actually the the very uh, same idea behind the BIC, which I I didn't uh, explain yet, but I will sometime. So so then you you now let's go back to the example. So given lambda. You compute MLE, okay. And also we can compute the uh, sigma e square as a, as a function of lambda. And so that you you can uh, basically profile, right? You basically this is originally you so you have a beta sigma e square and lambda. And so. You given given lambda, you maximize right the uh, you maximize the likelihood to get beta hat lambda and sigma hat e lambda, and then so this one also depends on lambda, and so you you plug in right to to here plug in and then extend the, the profile will be just function of lambda only. And then you need a modification term, additional term, based on the uh, you know, first element of the I11, the Fisher information. So, so basically this is the information matrix that you, you can obtain uh, from the likelihood. So they, that there is this one. So rather than maximizing this profile uh, likelihood, we need to we use this modified profile likelihood to to compute the uh, lambda. Okay. So this is the uh, uh, basically of uh, uh, the idea behind computing the Remmel. So sometimes this is the this is called the Remmel, right? So. This maximizer of the modified profile likelihood matches exactly with the Remmel, and uh, so that's uh, that's quite popular tool, and and I just want to uh, go over uh, uh, these uh, basic concepts uh, in this class. But this is not really relevant to missing data. But since I, anyway, I since I brought brought this uh, render effect model anyway, so I thought it might be helpful. Okay. Uh, thank you for your attention. Bye.